I see only one question in the chat, but uh, questions no. here? I have a provocative question. What about fathers? So are fathers influential in the decision to vaccinate? <laughs> Who would like to take on this question? Perhaps Emily? From from the interviews that, that I did, and, and it was a choice to, to focus on, on mothers and, and girls because mothers were, were known to be the key decision makers for HPV vaccination. But from the interviews, we did ask about, about partners and discussions with, with partners, and, and very often they were not involved. However, it is true that in some communities, um, we, not, we need to be careful because in, in some communities, they do have a say in, in especially HPV vaccination decision making. Um, and that could be, for example, because of, of the the um, the role of, of sexual health as well, um, but we should definitely include them in, in any efforts to to try to improve communication and, and confidence. That's that's for sure. Anybody else would like to uh, to address that same question about uh, Dr. Kusage? No, Dr. Dr. Verger. No, it's just just few information about our uh, study in France, but it was rather about uh, childhood vaccination, not HPV vaccination. But what we found with uh, about uh, 35 interviews is that fathers, most of the time, do not participate to the decision of vaccinating or not their children. This is the role even at present, mainly of the mothers. This is what we found. I naturally would avoid to generalize too rapidly this kind of results, but I was rather surprised of that. Uh, can I come in? Uh, I have a question uh, about how do you define trust? Because this word trust is coming repeatedly uh, in, uh, uh, in health system as well as political system. So can, will one of the authors or uh, would like to define this trust issue? Thank you. So, Dr. Narendra, who would you like to answer that question, or, or does anyone want to volunteer an answer there? Julie, it's you believe what you're told from persons in authority. I think that's the sort of trust which dictates the population acceptance of um, interventions in health or interventions in your day-to-day -day activities. May I add something? Please go ahead, Dr. Vijay. Yeah, yes. And uh, this is something I think Emily has already said to a certain extent the same way. Trust, when we are looking at trust between a provider and a, and a patient, what is interesting is that trust is built in a face-to-face -face relation. Trust results from uh, proximity, uh, from the fact that the doctor knows the patient for a, long, for a long time. So there is a kind of, I would say, intimacy too. So that uh, the patient is a position to be more at ease to delegate the decision. And this could be a kind of uh, definition of trust. I trust somebody. When I trust somebody, I am able to delegate uh, the, the decision to a certain extent of vaccinating of or, or other choices. On the contrary, uh, what, when uh, you, you are looking trust between the public and the government, for example, people at the government, or even experts, or even scientists, these people at, at, at a distance. There is no direct relationship. And so the trust between those and the public might be of a very different nature. Um, most of the time, you could see, perhaps you have understood from my presentation that for example, the trust between GPs and the government and sanitary territories was never a perfect trust, a total trust. It was always related. This is also because there are some uh, relations which might be complicated, conflictual between GPs and, and the government on other kind of uh, actors. 
So this is b far more complex between the public or between uh, uh, the, 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 the healthcare workers and the, govern the government or the, the authorities or even the scientists of the experts. Because I would not put the, the healthcare workers in the group of experts. There are not experts, most of them, in the field of vaccination, at least. Thank you all, speakers, for your presentations.